Howdy everybody, Frankie Day, back again on YouTube. This evening YouTube, I have update number 5 of my build report of the complete finishing build of my Revell 132nd scale PA-18 Super Cub and the splendid markings of the United States Army Air Corps. Okay guys, uh, I just finished this while ago. Okay, I had it done days ago, but uh, during drying time and other builds and Another project I got going on, so I kind of put it on the back burner a little bit. So it's all done, and uh, I can spend more time with my Hayford bomber. And uh, this is the finished product of Barry Newlands, the Train Aircraft Group build. This is part three of my entry of his group build. Uh, I will submit all three pictures of these builds uh, to Aaron Newland uh, using some uh, using my camera. And I got the same thing in the D-Day group bill also uh, for Russell Gosling's group bill. I got to send uh, uh, some pictures of Cohen too. So, uh, Mike and uh, Aaron, uh, fret not, buddy. I'll have some pictures coming your way. And uh, I'll have them posted this Monday. I promise you this, dear fellas. Okay, guys, back to the Super Cub. Now, as you can tell, the brilliance of the chrome yellow really shows up real good. And natural daytime, folks, naturally sunlight. This, this paint is very... Very luminous, you know, it's very, very dark luminous. It really could be, uh, really the same. And, uh, of course, we got uh, artificial light, like neon lights and regular light bulbs going on, like that kind of tears the yellow, but you guys get the idea, it's all yellow. Uh, the build of this airplane was uh, tedious, simple, but challenging. And I would not, uh, I would not uh, refer this airplane to be... Uh, as a first time challenge for the novice at heart, who ever wants to decide to build one of these, because this airplane is very, very difficult to build in a lot of ways, although it may look simple, folks, but the hard part of it is getting the, co the cockpit and everything all lined up real good. I mean, you can line up the wings and the spars and everything, a lot of drying time and stuff. And it's very tedious, though, but it, uh, it's, it's, it's well worth the work. The engine it comprises of 15 parts of the motor. And uh, I got the uh, right side of the inspection panel opened up right there to reveal the insides of the engine. So you want to show the engine off because it's a very beautiful continental engine that they, that Ravel has uh, molded into this kit. As you can see in the entry door right there, it's, uh, it slides down the top of the glass portion of the canopy trices up. And there's a, there's a linkage uh, hold, uh, hold down hang that fits inside the, uh, the fuselage which holds up the... Uh, the top of the canopy, side of the canopy window, keep them from uh, coming down on you when, you when you enter the aircraft. And of course, that uh, door right there just closes up inside of the fuselage. Uh, the tires are picked up using uh, black, black, black paint, and using white dry, dry brush to bring up the treads. And uh, the top is airbrushed uh, all flat black. Tips are airbrushed, uh, masked off. Well, uh, yellow, the same color as the aircraft is, and the hub is airbrushed uh, using aluminum. And uh, it's, a, it's a dilly of an airplane, guys. Uh, it's it's a it's a very nice kit to build. It's it's very challenging, and it makes a very good uh, addition to the person uh, and my, the model in mind who uh, relishes into the civilian world instead of uh, air uh, air force military variants. Uh, the kit gives you, like I say, in the on the uh, inbox review, it gives you uh, military decals, also civilian decals, and uh, so you may want to make a decision whatever aircraft you want to model, because no matter what you uh, what option it may be, it will come out a okay. Uh, other than that, guys, it kit went together pretty good for me. It's uh, it took it's about a good almost three week build on it. I like to take builds like this and at least make two or three weeks out of them. That's all you need. But working on uh, various hours of the day. So right now the uh, Super Cub will go inside the Curio in my living room, and Ruthie already got my beautiful wife. She uh, got a spot for it right now as we speak, and. Uh, the cockpit detail of this thing is very gorgeous, guys. It's almost true, it's true to real. If you're one thirty second skill, you got you can actually qualify that airplane. It's a very good kit, guys, and I highly recommend it. And uh, before I start closing the video up here, I'd like to give my gratitude and thanks, Mr. Errol Newland, for letting me participate three times in his group build. 
And uh, there's Joe Truly right there. Give a thumbs up, stamp of approval, and we'll zoom in and finish up the video. And I'd like to thank everyone again, you know, for letting me uh, uh, for allowing extra time to, uh, to complete this build. So uh, my group builds all can be completed, uh, with the exception of Aaron Newland's uh, community group build with the, with the Matchbox kits. Uh, tomorrow I shall post a video on my Hayford bomber, uh, painted in a splendid color of bronze green, and uh, there'll be weathering done on the airplane as well, and rigging be done. So I should have the paper done either by uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Uh, tomorrow I'll make an inbox review of a, of a model uh, I'll be starting on. And uh, keep, keep me on my toes. It's going to be a big one. And uh, one of a kind for me. And uh, So I'm going to watch a lot of videos out there, guys. So everybody go out there and... Uh, uh, you guys are very great in your videos. Uh, I mean, Alex of Alex Modeling, he did a wonderful job in that Dornier flying boat. Looks like, like me, he must have had two of them in his, in his stash. Uh, I just commented on his last video, and he did the same kit did on the first one, but this time he done a real good job on it. And uh, it came out real well. I mean, uh, came out real good. Damn good job there, Alex. Okay, guys, it's time for you to get off right here. I'm running short right here, and... Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. May God bless and happy modeling. And we'll catch you on the next video tomorrow. And I uh, shall have an inbox of you of a new cat I'll be starting out. And I have an, also a video of my Hayford Bomber and the finished paint schedule on it. So I'd like to thank everybody one more time again for tuning in. And, and with God bless, happy modeling, and uh, get those videos out. Bye, boys. Take care, man.